Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of dividing decimals. One of the problems is going to be a decimal divided by a whole number, and the other is a decimal divided by a decimal. And again, this is a quick review, so if you're looking for a reminder about how to do this, this video is for you. If you want more in-depth explanations about these types of problems, I dropped those links down in the description. So let's jump right into number one here where we have 37 and 2 tenths divided by 6. So this is where we are taking a decimal and dividing it by a whole number. So we would set it up as 37 and 2 tenths, that's our dividend, and our divisor or outside number is a whole six. So whenever we're, we are dividing decimals, the first thing you should look at is the divisor or outside number whole. And this six is a whole number. So we can bring our decimal straight up. Once you do that, we just go through our division steps. So the first divide. So can I do three divided by six and get a whole number? No, so I need to go over to the 37. So 37 divided by six. How many whole groups of six can I pull out of 37? Six, that gets me to 36. Now multiply, six times six is 36. Subtract, we get one. Bring down this two and we have a 12. So now we have 12 divided by six. How many whole groups of six can we pull out of 12? Well, two. Two times six, 12. Subtract, and we get to that zero. So our answer is six and two tenths. Again, if you have a whole number divisor, you can bring that decimal straight up. Number two, four and 59 hundredths divided by three tenths. So let's set it up. Four and 59 hundredths is our dividend and three tenths is our divisor. Now again, the first thing we should look at is the divisor or outside number there whole. No, it's not. So we can't start quite yet and do not bring your decimal straight up. If your divisor is not whole, we need to make it a whole number. So we do that by multiplying it by a power of 10, which we can do by just moving the decimal. So let's move the decimal once to the right to make that a whole three. Now, just like everything else in math, we have to keep everything balanced. So whatever you do to the outside, you have to do to the inside. So we move the decimal once to the right on the outside. So let's do it to the inside, our dividend. So now we rewrite our problem with that whole number divisor. And our decimal in the dividend or inside number is now between the five and nine. So now, like I said, our divisor is whole, so we can bring that decimal straight up, and we're ready to solve. So four divided by three, how many whole groups of three can I pull out of four? Well, one. One times three is three. Subtract, bring down. 15 divided by three is five. Five times three is 15. Subtract, we get zero, bring down the nine, and we have nine divided by three, which is three. Three times three is nine. Subtract to wrap this problem up, and we get 15 and three tenths. So there you have it. There's a quick review of dividing decimals. If you're looking for further explanations on those types of problems, again, I dropped those links down in the description. I also dropped links to mastery checks where there are some practice problems that you can try, and then when you're done with them, check your answers with mine to see if you have this down. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.